Well, hi, I'm Jeremy Martini, President of Horizon College and Seminary. And uh, I'm here with James Anderson, who's pastoring in Nipua, Manitoba. And just wanted to give uh, an opportunity, I think, uh, to hear from him his his interesting story. I think a, a story that's useful for what uh, what our time right now and and the need to sort of be obedient in the moment and to and just to see what what God can do as we as we take a, each step in faith. And uh, so so James, you're uh, you're in Nipua, Manitoba, but you're not from. Nipua, Manitoba, are you? No, definitely not. Uh, this is uh, this is definitely a foreign land to us, but uh, we've kind of made it our own. Um, so originally, we're from uh, my family and I were from southern Ontario, uh, born and raised in Oshawa, which is uh, about a half an hour outside of Toronto, the GTA. Uh, we moved here last year and became uh, I became the pastor at Calvary Chapel in Nipua. Um, the journey getting here was frightening and it was interesting and it was exciting and it was God led through the whole thing, which was absolutely amazing. So um, the way this all kind of happened for me was I discounted myself at an early age. I decided, you know, pastoral ministry is for the good people. It's for the people who have it all together. And, uh, you know, they, they don't have any, uh, anything to work out. And, uh, you know, fast forward to my, my 30s, and I started to feel that call again. So I got myself into master's college and seminary, and I started taking some courses. And um, the journey throughout, just key people introducing me to other people in ministry at the time. And uh, when the opportunity came for me to pastor in Nipawa here, uh, you know, we said yes. And it was, it was a huge step of faith. We we moved 2,500 kilometers across the, the country. We left our, our friends and our family and everything we'd known for the better part of 35 years behind us. And uh, we, we packed everything into a U-Haul and moved to a little, uh, you know, a little three-bedroom house. And we've been in Nipawa now for a year. And uh, in the last year, I have learned a ton about myself. I've, I think I've learned even more about God. Um, I don't know if you mentioned it at the beginning, but not only am I pastoring here, but I'm also a student at Horizon at the same time. I'm, uh, I'm furthering my education there as well. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell us a bit about that too, I guess, your, um, that experience, because you're, you're taking your studies from Nipawa. So you're, you're attending classes as they're occurring. Uh, at part, one of our live stream students. Um, how's, how's that uh, experience going for you? It's absolutely amazing. So right now I'm doing my uh, intro to theology course with uh, Dr. Andrew Gabriel, and I'm doing it through video on demand. So when he gives his lectures to his class, it's all recorded for me and it's posted online and both his in-person class and myself, we have access to that online library and I can watch the lectures on my own time and my own schedule. I can interact with the material as he's giving it. And uh, I make sure all my assignments are submitted digitally on time. And uh, he and I meet over Zoom uh, kind of once a week uh, just to kind of go over the, the lectures, go over everything that he's talked about to make sure that I don't have any questions. And it, it's been really great to not only be able to do distance education and learn virtually, but still have that kind of uh, personal connection to your professor where you can ask questions in real time and get real answers. And you're not just kind of left on your own to figure it out and <laughs> hope somebody responds to your comment on Populi. So um, it, it's been a, it's been a great experience. It's been really, really good. Good. And are you doing any of the ones that are, uh, that are taking concurrent kind of live, live classes as well? No, uh, right now, because of my work schedule, I'm only a part-time student. So instead of doing, I believe, two courses per module, I'm doing one course per module. Uh, so I'm focusing solely on, on this, uh, this one course. Um, I've joined in person a couple of times for uh, some class discussions and things. Right. Uh, but uh, I've, I've basically been exclusively video on demand for, uh, you know, for, for this course. And then you're able to just work that out around your, yeah, just your own lifestyle. That's cool. Yeah. And then, and then you're, you're prepping and doing your messages on, uh, uh, for, for pastoring and, uh, and caring for the church and juggling that with work and, uh, and schooling and, and doing it all. How are you holding it together? You know, um, I, I've, I've never been a planner, right? That that's my, that's my wife's area of, of strength. She's been an excellent administrator planning. I've had to learn to be really, really good at planning my day. 
and understanding that there's some days that are going to go later than others and you just have to kind of be okay with that um but it at first it was really daunting you know i, I am pastoring a church and as you can tell i'm working part-time at home hardware and you know i've got my wife and my three kids and we've got a little farm you know just outside of town here that we're we're kind of working a little bit um, but as long as I have everything scheduled and planned out and my family knows what's going on and when I need to be here and what I got to do, um, you know, it doesn't feel so overwhelming because I know when I'm doing it and what I got to do when I get there. So it's, uh, it's been really good. And actually doing my, my course has really enriched my messages as well, because I'm able to take what I'm learning in my course and I'm applying it to the messages as I'm bringing it to the congregation. And it's really added another another layer that lets them go a little bit deeper as well. So it's, it's been, uh, I think it's been a really great thing for all of us. That's awesome. No, it's good in it. And, you know, I think we need, um, I don't think we, we need leaders to step in. We have a number of churches that are, that are looking for, for leadership and leaders, both in a professional capacity and then leaders who can step in and, and fill the, you know, volunteer gaps and things like that. And, and just seeing, how you've kind of obeyed and, and taken each step as it's come uh, towards you and you've kind of stepped out in faith and obedience and here you're um, you're being filled and you're also filling a need in a in a community that that really needs someone to step in and and you know and coming from Toronto to uh, Toronto area to uh, you know to Nipah Manitoba that's not that's not an automatic uh, transition, you know, so that step of obedience is just, I think it's something exemplary, something that, uh, that maybe someone who'd be watching this might see, you know, maybe, maybe I'm hearing a little voice as well telling me, I got to step out a little bit and one thing leads to another. Well, I, I definitely appreciate that. And, you know, if anybody is watching this and you're kind of feeling that, I would say, don't be so quick to discount yourself. As people, we're, it's so easy for us to find a million and one reasons to say why we shouldn't do something. Um, but it just comes down to, you know, taking a chance and saying yes to something that may be a little scary or a little frightening and just trusting that God will provide and he'll bring you through it. And I mean, we, we were talking a little bit before. I mean, we sold our house in Ontario and bought a house in Manitoba before I even knew if I had a job here. Now, I don't necessarily recommend recklessness there. <laughs> uh, but you know, God is, God is faithful. And if he's calling you to something, he's going to make sure that you're provided for and you're led through every step of the way. So something scary definitely turns into something, uh, quite awesome. Um, we're, we're so glad that we did this. Good. Well, thanks so much for, uh, for sharing that with us and, uh, and encouraging others, hopefully to, to be open to doing the same. So say God bless you in your, in your work there and, and, Looking forward to having you. I think you're in my class coming up here in a in a few weeks. So I believe I am. <laughs> Good. We'll see you there too. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. All right. God bless. You too.